Number six, always remember, no matter what they say or do, to keep your dignity. Never forget that you belong to the white race that rules, but never profess this as it is the mark of the politically immature white person to let black people know that they are in charge. And this is why the Europeans you encounter never let you know that they know that they have a benefit. What do they tell you? My mother was on welfare. What do they tell you? I grew up in the hood. What do they tell you? I'm unemployed just like you. You can never compare black poverty with white poverty. Never. Because the white man still benefits from white privilege even when he's dead, broken, poor. Yep. And you can never compare black middle class with white middle class. Why not? Because class deals with wealth ownership. Black people in the so-called middle class don't own wealth. They own bank accounts. Houses that are not paid off. Car notes that are not paid off. Time shares that are not paid off. We own cash, they own wealth. But to make us feel better, they make you think that the black middle class is equal to the white middle class. Well, let me ask you a question. For everybody in here who's middle class or college educated, if you got fired tomorrow, how long could you live before you ended up on the street? Now, let's ask another question. If a white middle class person went unemployed, how long could they last before they ended up on the street? They would probably never end up on the street. Why? Because they got stopped real estate, businesses, multinational corporations. The white middle class person could retire tomorrow and live off the residual income of their investments and wealth, whereas you would have to look for another job. The so-called black middle class was created by the United States government in the aftermath of the Civil Rights Bill of 1964 to do what? Create the illusion of inclusion. And if you don't stay conscious of the illusion of inclusion. You will end up being one of those Negroes who think time have gotten better since 1865. Well, let me ask you a question. How much wealth did we own in this country in 1865? One half of 1% of all the wealth in this country was owned by African people. Today, December 18, 2011, guess how much wealth you own? One half of 1%. That's with your multi-millionaires. That's with your billionaires. You know why? Because black people are steered into the direction of depleting their financial resources and never using it to transition it into wealth, which makes you a permanent dependent, a permanent consumer, a 21st century slave.